D-D-D-I-Y. I think this really is a timely message. And unfortunately, it got met upon a lot of deaf ears when it dropped. Wayno, who is well known within the music industry, has an experience with working with Rockefeller Records. He's been a manager. He's been someone who's been very tapped into the music industry and understands it from an interesting point of view. He had this to say about how he wishes that hip hop matures. You know, we were talking about music as a whole, and uh-huh. something that you had said another tweet of yours mm-hmm. is that there's just no more maturity in hip hop. It's all just kitty shit. Yeah. Now, what do you mean by that? Like, what did like. I, Not to do the Drewski shit, like, what do you mean by that? What do you that? mean by that? So to be clear, he made a tweet basically saying that there's like no maturity in hip hop. You don't hear that maturity within the music. What's going on in your brain when you're saying something like that? Because I feel like that deserves uh, a longer answer. Yeah, I can unpack it for you. I think that like, all right, what I meant by that is this, right? Like when we knew that our favorite artist was approaching like 30 years old, yeah. we were looking for like certain type of content in their music, a certain type of substance in their music. Mm-hmm. Like not to tell us to be like the biggest adult, right? Because we're all growing, like you never stop growing up. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like you look at artists and you look at their perspectives and you look at a lot of them who became successful and it, it happened in the early 20s. So most of the, the 50 cents, the Nas's, the Jay-Z's yeah. shit, um, I go as far to say like a Juicy J, you know what I mean? Like a Snoop Dogg, you know what I mean? A Master P, or Bone Thugs, all these people I grew up listening to, they kind of shifted when it came to what they were talking about mm-hmm. or not necessarily how they dress. Because I think I'm going to dress how I dress for the rest of my life. I'm never going to not wear Jordans. <laughs> right. He makes a really valid point in that the artists that you grow up with, they sound a certain way, right? You're listening to them and they're talking about subject matter that relates to them at their current age. All of that is probably the reason why we gravitate towards them as listeners and become fans of their music and their message. As they start to approach their 30s, as they start to become a more seasoned human being, even on a scientific level, as their brain fully develops at 25, there's certain perspectives that just don't make sense to them anymore. Certain things you're not going to hear from Jay-Z at 35 that he was rapping about at 25 that's just the natural evolution of music however we're in this weird melting pot of time where artists are still trying to compete with not only the younger version of them but younger artists who are doing the younger topics better than they could do it in this current stage because they're not that age and he's asking for like look there's certain things in hip-hop culture like the way i dress that are going to be like that forever because that's just who i identify with right that's how i want to represent myself but there's certain things in terms of the subject matter that just needs to advance. Never gonna not wear Supreme or streetwear. Like, mm-hmm. that's just how I like to dress. But I think that there was a point in time where, you know, it was an aspect of maturity. It was an aspect when artists talked about things that was going on in their lives. Facts. And it was a different insight than when it was 10 years prior. Mm-hmm. And I feel like now, I see uh, it's a lot of these artists that they acting like they, they, they 21, but they really 29 or 30. Mm-hmm. Why are we not given the same grace that other genres are given? Why are we not given the same light and shine when an artist does make that pivot? Now, there are exceptions to the rule. There's always exceptions to the rule. He mentioned some of them. When you talk about a Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg has went from making like most classic gangster rap hip hop records in the history of hip hop to making a gospel album, making a Rastafarian inspired album, then performing at the White House. To me, that's a video game arc. Like that's what you hope your My Career player on 2K, you hope they can have that kind of a career where they get every damn record. Snoop is living that and he's been given that grace, but I feel like across the board, there are so many OGs in hip hop and I meet many of them in my, doing my shows and opening up for them And I can see when I talk to them, I can hear when I talk to them. They see that the climate has changed so much and people only want one era of them that they fell in love with. They don't give them the same grace to grow. But it's interesting how some artists feel like they almost have to talk about this shit or they won't be able to support their livelihood. Or approaching 30 and their music isn't shifting. You know what I mean? They're still talking about the same shit. They're not growing up in their music. They're not adding any perspective. And I just think overall as a people because everybody on social media is trying to be so in yeah they're not growing up you know what i mean they're just simply not fucking growing up you know what i mean like even even um to an extent to myself it's like you know i love to get on like my my favorite pastime is getting on 2k and playing the game you know what i mean like, that's what i love to do but you know um there's people who say oh when you 40 like you 40 why are you playing a game so if I'm 40 and why I'm playing a game, why the fuck is you rapping about killing somebody and you ain't shot a gun or caught it? Like you ain't Ooh. in the streets no more. So why the fuck is you still have that perspective? When I went on tour with Murs, I never forget he met a fan, 
Okay, it's a female fan. She was a fan of his from the 90s. She brought her daughter to the show who was a fan of his songs because they're speaking about relationships, his newer songs. Then her little sister was becoming a fan of it because now she's starting to get into boys. When you're making music that's evergreen, you're given that kind of grace. But I think that you have a lot of artists who feel like they are in competition with these younger artists who are only rapping about what they're going through. When I look at the artists that do have careers now, you're seeing artists, it's crazy. You're seeing so many artists that are canceling their tours. You know who's selling out their tours? I saw a meme going around. The Nas's, these very classic hip hop based artists who have continued to evolve and find creative ways the thing about it it just doesn't fall on the subject matter you can't be bringing beat styles from 2001 and yell at the people on your lawn about why they don't respect real hip-hop and real music you got to tap into some of their sonics their sonics have changed their eating habits have changed their environments have changed these kids are not the same kids as what we were in our generation with that said we're not the same kids that were the generation before us something to think about you ain't even been nowhere near the fucking hood nor is you trying to be so why you keep rapping about that i feel like it's it's I feel like they have to no, I, I just think that the skill the, the skill set is set very very low now so it's like it's easy to do that it's easy to do what you know and not challenge yourself to do something Higher, you know what I'm saying, so or elevate I, I, a bit. You know I, I mean? love the points that Wayno brings up, and I think this is where, as DIYers, it falls on us. DIY. You can do what you want. You now, in this age, can do what you want. Curtis, I can't do what I want because when I do what I want, it doesn't get a whole lot of numbers. Well, if you're getting a lot of numbers doing nonsense or things that are detached from who you are, at one point in time, didn't that start with zero interest in what you're doing? Then you have to build upon that. I think there's a lot of adults who don't want to have to start all over, including me. As you're approaching 38 to 40, this experience can be whatever you want, especially in this internet age, which is why I don't understand why people are fighting it so much. The internet extends your career. The internet gives you an opportunity to be an artist like a T-Pain, who was the biggest artist at one point in time, had the biggest songs on the radio. And after the music industry and certain folks within it, turned their back on him like he's spoken about, they just put him in that collection of toys of industry artists that once were something. Instead of just staying in that collection, he got up and said, let me get to streaming. And then had one of the most successful streams as a music creator. And then built a new audience talking about his experience within the industry. So when I look at that, I say, Yes, it is unfortunate that some rappers feel like in order to be successful, they have to stay in that. But I tell them a part of that is mindset. And if you're willing to start from scratch again and say, I don't know what this looks like. There's no blueprint for a rapper at 38 talking about the things that I really go through. I should have been had a song about sciatic nerve pain. <laughs> That's a 38 year old song. <laughs> I should have been had a song. You know what I'm saying? About all the things that happen at this stage that I wish somebody would have told me about. Shout out to the homie Ruslan. He told me this. I wish I would have made the music at 38 that I needed when I was 20. I think that that grace is something that you have to give yourself permission for. Music producers, artists, if you're, if you're concerned about being lost with the time. It's not about being lost with the time. It's about finding the tribe that tap into the shit that you're doing. Embrace that. They're out there. Some of them are here right now. I don't know. Those are my thoughts, though. Let me know what you guys think. DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.